What's up? It's Allie Hardesty and today's video is going to be me talking about my failed love life. I put a poll on Twitter asking you guys what video I should film today. There were a couple story times, there was like a Q&A, and then there was this one. And majority of you guys wanted to hear me talk about this, so might be a little bit depressing. Hopefully it inspires someone out there. Hopefully it's a little bit relatable. I don't normally do videos like this, but when I do, you guys really seem to like them. When I just sit down, raw in front of the camera and speak my mind and kind of how I'm feeling and things I've been through. This is just going to be a little chit chat. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I have a lot of crazy ex-boyfriend stories. That's kind of how I originally built this channel. That's kind of what made me blow up were a couple of those story times. I've been cheated on in pretty much every single relationship that I've been in, been lied to. I've been through my fair share of emotional abuse, manipulation. And this is not to say that people I've dated in the past are bad people. I don't think that at all. Everyone makes mistakes, myself included, but they just weren't the right person for me based on a lot of the ways that I was treated over and over and over. I feel like in order to be in a healthy relationship, one, you need to know what you want, which you can't really know until you've been in a couple of failed relationships first. And two, you need to be single for a while. You need to know yourself. You need to know how to love yourself without having another person there to love yourself for you because that's not how self-love works. That's why I'm at a place right now where I just want to be single because I did go from relationship to relationship to relationship for a little bit. It didn't happen just like that. But looking back when I got out of my first First big breakup I dated somebody immediately afterwards and I thought that I was ready for that I thought that I really liked that person and I did a part of me did but I still wasn't over my ex because I didn't give myself time to deal with the breakup this is a common theme I see in so many girls so maybe someone watching this right now can relate like I moved on so freaking fast and I just buried my feelings and the grief and everything that I was supposed to be feeling inside of myself I felt like I didn't actually deal with the breakup until a long time down the road I had been dependent on other people not for my happiness but to fill that void that is love, this is so cheesy and deep, but just to fill the void of like having someone, I've always kind of had a boyfriend. And it wasn't necessarily because I wanted that, but that's just what ended up happening. I'd talk to a guy, I'd get more serious, and I'd kind of fall into a relationship. I have this thing, and it's both a blessing and a curse, where I'm able to either feel so much at once or nothing at all. And I think a lot of the time it gives people the impression that I don't care or that I'm putting on a front like I don't care, but that's not necessarily the case at all. I will truly convince myself that I no longer care about someone or something, but the feelings were just hibernated because, like I said, I either feel way too much or nothing, and then I just kind of act on that one way or the other. I tend to fall for the same types of guys. Like you could ask anybody in my personal life. I have a type physically, emotionally, sense of humor wise, everything. They're all pretty much the same in a lot of different aspects. And that's just because that's who I'm attracted to. I couldn't tell you why. The last guy I dated did not fit that criteria whatsoever. I really liked him, but he just wasn't my usual type and things didn't work out with him either. So I used to think that it was because I fell for the wrong type of guy, but that's not necessarily the case. You can't really stereotype an entire part of the male species as your type and say that they're the problem that things aren't working out. And I mean, I could easily get a boyfriend right now. That's not to say, you know, I could date whoever I want, but everyone is desperate for love. Everyone is desperate to have somebody. It's not that hard if you really look around, but I'm holding out to find a person that I really want to spend the rest of my life with. That's not to say that I'm going to get it right the first time I end up dating somebody, which could be very soon, which could be a couple years from now. Who am I to say when I'm going to meet the right person? But as for right now, I am completely comfortable being single. Why would I date without those intentions? It just seems pointless to me at this stage of my life. I'm going to be 21 in a few months. I'm halfway done with college. I have a full-time career that takes up a lot of my time and I love so much. It makes me so genuinely happy. I do have commitment issues, I will admit that, but it's not in the sense that I want to be with multiple people. It's more so the fact that in past relationships, I felt that the guys I was with took away a lot of my time, energy, potential with whatever I was doing because I catered to them so much and their emotions and put so much energy into the relationship itself when I should have been focusing on myself and putting myself first because that's just how I am. When I am dating someone, I put them before everything else and it's not in like an unhealthy way but that's just the kind of person I am when I have somebody that I really care about and love and so knowing that I have things going so well for me right now I don't want to mess that up especially with somebody that I would probably not work out with right now because I'm not at an age where I would want to get married or settle down and maybe that's because I have been in relationships where the guy has not all the time 
but with some of them, has been a little bit controlling over burying, blowing up my phone. I felt like I was a little bit claustrophobic. I've never been with a guy who like told me what to do all the time, but you know, obviously if you're in a relationship, you should get that person attention. It's almost like not even fair to them. And I personally am just too selfish at this point in my life to be able to consistently do that for someone. And I don't think that's a bad thing because in the past I was almost too selfless to where I put all these people before me, before my goals, before school, before YouTube, before a lot of things that are everything to me and made me who I am first. I don't really wanna spend 20 minutes to text somebody this elaborate good night text or good morning text. I'd rather edit my video. I'd rather go ahead and take advantage of some of the homework that I have, or I'd rather call up a friend and see how they're doing because I don't want to ignore or neglect other people in my life who have been there longer just because they're not my significant other. And I've seen this happen so many times with my friends where they get a boyfriend, and this is no one in specific, this is literally so many people, and it sucks because then you never really see them. You never hear from them as much or when you do hang out with them it's like you them and their significant other I know that people could be like hey being in a relationship you shouldn't feel restricted like your boyfriend or girlfriend should be cool about stuff but there are respectful boundaries at the same time I being the person that I am just would not feel comfortable doing a lot of the things that I do now as a single person if I did have a boyfriend they wouldn't need to tell me oh you can't do that but I would just feel as if I wasn't being respectful like going to music festivals going out going to parties without having to call someone and let them know where I'm at who I'm with I just do what I want right now and it's the best feeling in the entire world and I never really had that growing up because I had a high school boyfriend I had a high school sweetheart I was with like all during high school and then into college also my parents were so strict so it just feels really good for me right now to be able to make my own decision I'm not trying to say that once you're in a relationship you don't have any freedom but there is a respect factor and I do choose to respect that if I am dating somebody so again this is just me kind of ranting about my failed relationships why they haven't worked out what I envision for myself now why I love being single at the moment this is not me trying to convince anybody in or out of being in a relationship. I don't think one's better over the other. This is just for me personally at this stage in my life. I have pretty high expectations and standards. That's not to say I expect my boyfriend to be perfect, but there are certain things I expect that I've been through in the past. I don't want them to do. I don't want to go through that ever again, like being cheated on or being talked down to, being manipulated, being torn back and forth if you even want to be in the relationship. If I'm going to be in a relationship this time around, it's not going to be a question. It's not going to be like, I want to be with them, but I have commitment issues. I'm going to be 100% ready. And right now I'm not at the 100% mark. So why would I go through with that when I'm just going to end up hurting that person and myself, which I have done in the past. It's a cycle. I want to date myself. I want to do me 100% until that person comes along. Who's going to be extremely understanding, especially of what I do, because I feel like a lot of the time people don't get it. I need them to understand that I don't have like a typical job schedule, that this is so important to me that it takes up a lot of my time that I'm going to be on my phone a lot, responding to direct messages on Twitter or Instagram. Instagram, and I'm not going to have a boyfriend take over that because this is my dream This is my passion So I think it's really important for honestly anyone who can even relate to a small part of this to do what I'm doing right now And be single love yourself do something different than what you've been doing Because how are you going to attract anything different in a positive way because your past hasn't worked out if you're not different at all If you're doing the same exact thing and a lot of this stuff just so you guys know I keep off social media I have probably dated people that you guys have no idea about or broken up with someone and then got back together with them But just not really let you guys no because I didn't want everything to be so public because that's another thing with social media I feel like it can get in the way of a relationship in someone's personal life. I don't typically have long lasting feelings for people very often anyways. Like it takes me a while to get to know somebody before I really fall for them or even honestly like them at all. That's just how I am personally. So why would I want to rush into anything anyways? I have all the time in the world. I'm so young and I hope that you guys can apply everything I'm saying to not only relationship, but friendships. Know what you deserve. Know your worth. You are worth so much. You are so valuable. And if you lower your standards, then you're just almost like lowering your worth in a way, not permanently, but at the time, people are going to treat you the way that you think you deserve to be treated. We accept the love that we think we deserve. When I have been in relationships that have been less than perfect, I tend to see the imperfect person perfectly because I'm in love with them and I ignore a lot of the red flags and things that happen along the way. And this is everybody when they're in love, it really is. But Respect yourself enough to know when to walk away. And honestly, I applaud you even if it took you a while to get there because I have been there, like I've said. Know that you deserve so much more than the way you've been treated in the past and guys who have broke your heart, girls who have broke your heart. I've always been a really happy person, but knowing that I'm able to achieve that completely on my own, 100% is pretty much the best feeling I could ever ask for. Thank
thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below letting me know if you want me to do more videos like this where I just ramble, give you some advice, share my experiences, kind of like a life update, I guess. I don't do these typically that much, but I really like it when I do. Also, subscribe if you are new here. Turn on post notifications by hitting that bell button right next to the subscription box. I also have a Patreon where you guys can get exclusive photos, private Snapchat, etc. That will be at the top of the description box link below. Follow my social medias, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later, alligators. Bye.